Hey everyone, Michael Short here. Come on, let's go outdoors. You may recall back in the fall, uh, we did a story about the Alberta Hunt Log app and the role it's playing with uh, the Alberta Conservation Association and others in encouraging hunters to log in and, and provide some information about uh, what they're seeing on the land base. So I thought it would be a good idea to uh, circle back and connect with Sue Peters, who is uh, with the Alberta Conservation Association, a senior biologist. And uh, Sue, I guess let's ask the $64 question. Um, has there been an uptake in hunters uh, using this app since uh, since you kind of officially launched it, uh, at least made the call to get the participation up last fall? Yeah, so we had solid uptake, I would say, in the 2023 fall hunting season. Of course, we always want more because more data is better, it means we can be even more confident and, and glean more information as biologists from what hunters and recreationists are seeing out there on the landscape. Um, but yeah, we had really good uptake. We had um, over 350 voluntary participants contribute uh, data to Alberta Hunt Log in over 140 wildlife management units. So that's pretty good distribution of data. And yeah, we had um, over 11,500 um, surveys for ungulates and carnivores, or sorry, over 11,500 observations of um, carnivores and ungulates submitted in 2023. So we were really happy with that. So once again, getting this kind of data into the system and, and folks like you can look at it, what is the, the ultimate um, aim of, of having people file this kind of information for you? Yeah, well, there's certainly a lot more hunters and recreationists than biologists. So we are really trying to recruit um, more eyes and ears on the ground so that biologists can um, collect information on harvestable wildlife population trends across Alberta wildlife management units. And yeah. of course, this is information that you folks, when you kind of compile all of it, you can pass on to uh, wildlife managers at the province to to help better uh, roll out uh, harvest numbers or or um, just sort of give a, a snapshot of what the populations are looking like uh, across different species. Yeah, so that it can become supplementary information that the Alberta government collects for setting uh, hunting allocations in Alberta's wildlife management units. I'm I'm curious to know: Are there uh, wildlife management units um, that are demonstrating higher response rates? compared to others. That is to say, you're getting lots of information about lots of different species out of one WMU versus another one that is a little bit lighter. And what impact does that have in painting up an overall picture? Yeah, uh, good question. So not surprisingly, white-tailed deer um, surveys that we received close to urban centers, for example, you know, Edmonton, Calgary, that kind of thing, where, where there's more people out on the landscape, more likely to be out there. Um, certainly, those are ones that we have a lot more data for, and so more confidence in, in that, that that data is reliable. So, you know, the more farther abroad that um, hunters or recreationists are going and can enter data into Alberta Hunt Log, then the the it's just super valuable to get that information on your observations in those more far far fetched uh, wildlife management units so that we can get information on um, in areas that are farther from large urban centers super valuable. All right. Um, Sue, if somebody uh, wants to get involved with this, how do they go about getting the app and and uh, that type of thing? Yeah, they can. Uh, People who are interested absolutely go to the albertahuntlog.ca website and you can get more information there as well as a link to um, to to get the iHunter Alberta app on your phone through the Google Play Store or whatever, whether you have Android or iPhone. Um, yeah, and then it's super easy from there. You can um, log in to, to an iHunter Alberta account and then you can um, set up a... Um, give consent to participate in Alberta Hunt Log and submit your data, and then you can just start right away using it. 
And I guess uh, just before I let you go, the the other big one that that I know you've heard and I've certainly heard it, and that is where and how is this data being used and am I giving up my uh, giving information up on my favorite hunting spot that type of thing uh, again this is these are you're looking at zeros and ones right uh, there's no other kind of uh, geo geographical information no one's tracking us that type of thing yeah we collect the information on a wildlife management unit basis we're not asking you to um, submit your actual location of observation or harvest that's um that's not that's not collected in alberta hunt log so your information is confidential and anonymous we don't see any names in our database um that's that's just not not part of what we that's not the information that we need we're it's all done on a wildlife management unit level all right, sure. Sue, we'll leave it there. Uh, continued success with getting people mm -hmm. to sign Thank up you. and and, and uh, provide some information when they're out and about in Alberta's uh, backcountry areas. Uh, thanks so much for your time today. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you.